Hey everyone and welcome to a sleeper train on our way to Krakow in Poland. Today is the 17th day of our epic European adventure and the plan is to explore Krakow, Auschwitz and the salt mines. There's Matthew and Holly getting ready to leave I think because our tour doesn't start for almost three hours we're gonna just go to sleep in the train station for a bit and find a nice cozy corner. <laughs> Okay, so we put our luggage in the self-service lockers. This size cost 12 Polish Zloty. Took me a while to actually get some coins from the shops. Nobody would actually give me coins when I wanted change. So I got some now. I had to put 15 in in the end. We are waiting at Krakow station for an hour and a half. Um, because our tour was put back, we've got a three hour wait before it starts, which isn't the best. I chose this particular tour because it started at 7.30 in the morning, so it was the earliest tour we could actually get on. And now it's been put back to five to nine. So we arrived into Krakow at 5.46. So we're very tired, aren't we, Holly? Yeah. Very tired. Okay. okay. So we're just sitting around waiting before we start walking across town to go meet the group at the Radisson Blue Hotel, which is the other side of Old Town. Looking at Google Maps, it says it's gonna be about a 25 minute walk. Like a miniature version of St. Louis. Still not even half seven yet, but we decided to walk to the meeting spot at the Radisson Blue Hotel. It's a 30 minute walk, well, just under a 30 minute walk from the train station. So we're just enjoying walking down the quiet streets of Krakow. <laughs> and just warming up a little bit, because it's quite cold in the train station. It's actually given rain for later today, and we've left all our uh, waterproofs in the luggage lockers. I didn't want to open them again, because then I'd have to try and get some more coins to put fit in them. A lot of the shops in the train station wouldn't give me change in coins from my Zelotti notes. We're just taking a short break just in the main square of Krakow. You can see the churches behind me there. Uh, so this is known as the market square basically. There's restaurants and cafes all the way around. Too early for breakfast yet though, nowhere's open. an hour and 20 minutes we've arrived at Auschwitz. We've got a 20 minute break before we start our tour. So we've just come and got a real small bit of something to eat. Arbeit macht frei. The work brings freedom. In this wooden barrack, there was the camp manager's office, censor's office, new arrivals registering office. The camp Auschwitz was the complex. We on the ground Auschwitz one, it was concentration camp, about 20,000 prisoners lived in this camp. But Auschwitz to Birkenau was about 20 times bigger than Auschwitz one. It was concentration camp, in Birkenau about 90,000 prisoners lived, an extermination camp, about a million Jews were killed in the gas chambers in Birkenau. Auschwitz Fremonowicz was next to chemical factory, and about 40 little sub camps were set up next to coal mines, other factors. Now we are going to the 
block number four. I will speak about extermination of the Jews, about them who were killed at once in the gas chambers in Birkenau. And the black arrows show where the transports arrived to Auschwitz from. The mass Jewish transport, civilian people, were delivered to Auschwitz from ghettos, from different concentration camps, transit camps, and different prisons. The camp Auschwitz since 1940-1945 existed as concentration camp. Camp Auschwitz became the extermination camp for Jews, and the Jews who were brought to the camp Auschwitz were selected, and after selection, the young, the health Jews were sent to work. They were registered in this camp, but most of them, mothers and children, ill people, pregnant women, were going straight to the gas chambers. They were killed at once. Block number five, you can see things belong to the Jews who were brought to the camp Auschwitz. In Auschwitz collected everything what the Jews brought with themselves. Those things were put in were houses. The things were selected, disinfected, then they were sent to different places, to Germany. Civil clothes, shoes, glasses were sent for German civilian people. Watches, medicine were sent for German soldiers at the front. In the block number seven, you can see living conditions of the prisoners in Auschwitz in different time. At the beginning, all prisoners who were registered in the camp Auschwitz were photographed. You can see in this building living conditions of the prisoners in different times. Because prisoners slept on the straw. Hundred people lived in each room. They slept in the third rows. Then um, they slept on the on the wooden plank beds. And very often, two prisoners slept on the same level. Now we are going to the block number 11. It was so-called death block, punishment block. In the basement of the block 11, there was the prison for the prisoners. Once a month took place the session of Gestapo police court from Silesia. That court was parody of the court. One trial lasted a few minutes and then Polish people were shot at the death wall. On the scallop, on the left side, 12 Polish prisoners were hacked. They had illegal contacts with Polish civilians out the camp. Rudolf Hiss, the first commandant. After the war, Rudolf Hiss, he was hanged on this gallow in 1947. And the gallow was built special for him after the war. Gas chamber and crematorium number one was very primitive, very small, next to buildings where the prisoners lived. That's why in 1942 extermination of the Jews was moved to Birkenau. We have finished our visit and in Auschwitz one. Thank you for your attention. 10-15 minutes break <clears throat> and then you are going to Birkenau by your cars, your bus. Thank you very much.
Ollie had gone for a salami pizza, or as we would call it, pepperoni. And Matthew had gone for some grilled salmon with vegetables and red And I have gone for the chicken tenderloin, but it looks more like chicken nuggets. We are just about to go into the salt mines. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So another one to tick off our list of UNESCO sites that we visited lately. Isn't it, Matthew? Yes. yes. See the salt, so the effervescence coming through the walls here. now been dropped off after our tours for today. Um, for the Auschwitz tour, obviously I didn't want to vlog in there because it's totally inappropriate. I think just the images and the video speak for themselves. I won't really talk about that. Only that it's an experience that I think everybody should do at least once in their lifetime just to see how bad humanity could be to other humans. Because it's just disgusting what the Nazis used to do there. As for the salt mine, that was very interesting. 
went down lots of steps, saw lots of caves and mine caves. Very interesting, but we're very tired now. So we got dropped off at the same place as we did this, got picked up in this morning, the Radson Blue Hotel. So it's about another 25 minutes walk to the train station. Because we had such a late lunch, we had lunch at what time? About four or five o'clock? Yeah. Five o'clock. We're really not that, yeah, we finished our lunch at five. Really not that hungry now, but we've obviously got to eat because we're going to have a sleeper train at 20 to 11, which is going to take us all the way to Prague for tomorrow morning for eight o'clock. Sky. Yeah, it's quite, look at the sky, Matthew. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's quite pink. So we might just get something small to eat along the way back to the train station. Which is a shame, if we had lunch earlier, we'd be more hungry now. So, like I said, we're walking back to the train station. It'll be about 20, 25, even maybe 30 minutes. And we might stop for something to eat along the way. Me and Holly are going to go for the peasant food for two, which is just some sausages. Matthew is going to go for the chicken breast cutlet and we'll get some drinks as well. There's Matthew's chicken, breaded chicken fillet. It's bigger than him. I reckon I might have some of that as well, Matthew's here, if you can't finish it. And this is mine and Holly's plate of peasant food, it's called peasant food for two which is a selection of sausages and black pudding and some breads and some sauces. That's... It looks like you're like a sweet tired. Yeah, I'm tired as well. We finished our dinner in that restaurant. It was a like a barbecue thing with traditional meats. Matthew had the chicken, as you saw. We, me and Holly had the peasant plate of just plate of sausages, basically. So now we're walking back to the train station to get our bags and to board our sleeper train to Prague, following Google Maps so we don't get lost. Okay, we're having a major disaster here. Somebody has jammed the key into our locker. So our locker is number 21. Somebody has jammed key 18 into our locker. We can't turn it whatsoever. I've, I've spoken to security, they absolutely don't care. They don't care one bit. I spoke to a lady, she phoned this number up here for some thingies, but then she went away, she didn't speak English. I've now phoned her. Oh, hold on. Hello? Hello, hello. Okay, thank you. It... Oh, that, that's perfect. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Pat. Okay, that was them calling me back, so what happened, I called them in this number and they said it'd take two to three hours to actually come here and our train is in like 20 minutes so they've just called me back now with an English speaker and now he said the service centre lady is going to come here in about 15 minutes to open it but we're having quite a bit of a disaster to be honest you know we need to know if our bags are actually in there maybe somebody's done this to steal our bags we don't know but if you see this key rammed in there it just it does not turn whatsoever. It's number 18. Number yeah. 18. So we have now got 24 minutes to catch our train to Prague. Otherwise, we're stuck in Krakow. We don't have any hotels. We don't have any way of getting to Prague tomorrow. Oh, no. It's just a disaster. Absolute disaster. Hopefully, this person comes in time and then we can actually get our bags and run to the platform and get our train. Okay. Fingers crossed. I can't believe it, we, we've actually made it. The man came with a few minutes to spare. He used the override key to open the locker for us. I thanked him profusely <laughs> using what little Polish I knew, which is dziękuję, 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 which is thank you. And then I put the bags on our backs and we just ran as fast as we could to the platform. We've just made it now. We're about to depart in about two minutes. I really thought we'd be stuck in Krakow tonight and not be able to get to Prague tomorrow and onwards to Berlin. While we were waiting, I was checking books booking.com to see if there was hotels available and luckily there was some hotels available in Krakow if we needed to, an emergency night here tonight but, but we didn't we're the on the train time. we're a bit out of breath because I can't really run with two big rucksacks on my back but we did it I was definitely going the fastest because Matthew had a bag and Daddy had two yeah so I was I was running up the stairs I was running up the escalator 
but I'm so grateful he arrived. So grateful. I really didn't think he was going to turn up in time, but we're on the train. Speak Czech. No, I don't speak Czech. Yeah, this is in Czech and German. Okay, we'll, we'll check in a minute. That's our menu for tomorrow morning, but I don't care about that at the moment. What I'm going to do, we're going to take a little break and then I'll do a room tour in a minute once we just calm down a bit. But we're on the train, we're on our sleep train, we're going to Prague. We'll be in Prague tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, and that's what matters. Thank you, I everyone. Really didn't think we like this. Oh. This is the tour of our compartment. It's compartment number 10 and we've got berths 56, 54 and 52. So this is a deluxe sleeper. So there's the bottom bunk. You see it's quite small so you won't get a proper feel of the room. Got three berths. Bottom one, Matthew's at the moment, but that's going to be my berth. Middle one where Holly's going to be. And then the top one is up here. Let's see if I can climb up. So there's the top one where Matthew's going to sleep. It's also got quite a lot of luggage storage up here as well. But my bags are too heavy, so I just leave them on the floor when we're here. I don't trust no. being a So, there's the door. That's where I'm keeping the bags just there. And there's also a separate chair here. If you want to just sl slide it out like that. During the day, this bottom berth actually flips up and there's actually three chairs underneath there as well. So tomorrow morning, if we feel like we're going to need them, I'll get those out. Then, this is the best part of these deluxe sleepers, is we've got our own ensuite. So we've got a toilet, a sink, and you move the sink around like that, and then we've got a stand-up shower, which is great, because after, those run after running with our bags on our backs, I really need a shower. No, not you. I was so So we've got slippers here, soaps, shower gels and shampoos, and amenity kits like toothbrush and toothpaste. I was also the yeah. quickest because you were carrying two bags, now you're carrying one. I wasn't carrying anything, you were even yeah. carrying a camera. Yes. Oh, Matthew. Matthew's carrying a camera. And we've got a plug down there. I think, is it plug on every one usually? I can't, can't remember. Uh, there was no problem. Okay, here's the aircon, so if you want it cooler or hotter. And for the announcements, if you want it la louder or lower. I think I'm more put it lower, but then yeah. more than yeah. And then you've got control panels here if you want to speak to the attendant or you set a wake up time there maybe? I don't you know, I haven't used that one. Oh my God, uh, I just use these which is just the lights of the cabin there and we're provided with water. We filled out our menus for I tomorrow put, morning put, yeah, so we have a choice of, of drinks and snacks. So I've got some apple juice, some butter, some cream cheese. Which one's mine? So I'm, although it doesn't say bread on there, I'm assuming it comes with the breads. Well, there. Is this mine? Which one's mine? And that's it. That's a tour of our deluxe sleeper cabin. From Krakow Central Station to Prague Central Station. We will be there at... We will be there at two minutes to eight tomorrow morning. And I think we will leave it there for today. It's a bit, it's been a, a, a strange day. Obviously visiting Auschwitz Birk, Birkenau is a very emotional experience. It's the sort of thing that should never have happened, really should not have happened. But I'm glad that they actually keep the memorial to keep people, keep it in people's memory. Because things like that should never be forgotten. It really should never be forgotten. And and we emotional need... thing that happened they were so Yeah. So as well as that, obviously we went to the salt mine. That was an experience as well. Lots of walking, a lot more walking than I expected with the salt mine. Probably quite a few kilometers. I think we were under there, under the ground for about at least an hour and a half. Very tired. Yeah. And obviously the issues with the bags that just happened then. But we're on the train, I'm happy. So like I said, we'll leave it at that. If you've made it this far with our drama, thank you so much for watching. And here's Holly with her usual special message. If you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell button. Bye. Bye. Also, I hope that bag thing never happens to you guys. Bye. Next time on Travel Shorts Epic European Adventure.